Hey guys, welcome back to Adam Smasher, a technical mod pack all about technology and exploration of the solar system. But right now, I have a thing in my in my hot bar. I have a microchip and a book. Now, you might be like, well, what can you do with these two things? Well, let me tell you, you can combine them together and get the manual for what we are doing today. The Open Computers Manual. Don't worry, we're not going to sit here and read it all at, uh, right now. I was tempted. I really was tempted, but I will save you that. Uh, also, talking of saving you that, I had a three-hour window for recording today. Two and a half, maybe, well, no, two hours was spent preparing all of these crafts so you wouldn't have to sit and watch me go and find all the bits and get all the things together. Uh, it's turned a, a, a multi-mini series of making a bunch of computer parts into a small segment here. You, you can thank me later. Uh, so transistors, you guys saw these last time. We can t use the transistors to make microchips. As I say, the microchip combined with the book uh, makes the manual there. That is amazing and good and more useful than you think. I will show you later. Uh, next we need a CPU, but as you can see there's some holes in the craft there. Uh, we need a control unit and an ALU, an arithmetic logic unit? I think I think that's what it stands for. Anyway, anyway, I've prepared one of these up here. We'll get the, uh, the old control unit out and down here we have a arithmetic logic unit. Look at that, brilliant. Transistors, redstone, nothing particularly uh, groundbreaking there. Now I think that one and that one I believe. Yes indeed. All right, central processing unit. Hi. The reason that we are doing this in the quest, I haven't even opened my quest line yet to have a look. Uh, so we've got the computer case, we've got the central processing no it doesn't like that okay that's fine next we are going to come across uh, this way we're going to do the memory first just because of the way that i sorted things out nice and helpful there made that also here hard drive disc platters you might want to know how to make that here let me show you a couple of iron nuggets literally all it is for those of you wondering about the circuit board remember we did that last time let me just pull up a uh, computer we spent most of the last episode making grog if you'll remember maybe not computer you thanks very much i just wanted to hover over this you remember grog being made from slime balls and fermented spider eyes and we spent a lot of time uh, doing that but the uses here is for making a circuit board okay so just just running through that again for people that need to know and this is the e EEP ROM? I, I don't even know what that stands for, if I'm to be honest with you. As far as I can tell, this is like the boot up bit. Um, I think, like before the BIOS, the EP, the EP ROM or something like that. I, I, I don't know. I'm not particularly knowledgeable about such things. I just uh, do do the system that I am told to do. Uh, it's pretty good. All right, disk drive here. Is that everything I wanted? That is indeed a disk drive. Yeah, I mean, you guys can figure out what, what a disk drive's for. I'm sure you've all got computers, including computers with a screen. So that's nice and easy as well. Has that, has that finished me the quest? No, it hasn't because there is one more thing we need one a very important thing we need an operating system how do we make that well first we need to start with a blank disk these are the unprocessed circuit boards so you know after i've mixed it with uh, before the grog yeah before the grog this is just like clay and coloring uh with a bunch of nuggets and the platters bam got me a floppy disk now you remember that i was saying oh oh does it just pick up any disk does it Let's have a look. It, do, it just picks up any disc. But I'm going to continue on anyway, because I've got a feeling you guys will want to know this. If you take the floppy disk and combine it with your manual, you get yourself the operating system. And that's very important. That's like, oh, that is very, very, very important. Now, if truth be told, all this stuff here, I'm going to push into a room back there, because this is this is all just crafting stuff, and, and that's great. But we want, like, actual main terminal here. Plus, I, I want to kind of rearrange a few things. Like this CPU, it, there's like three tiers for that. So I want to have the, the ALU and the, the control units on their own thing, and then have the CPUs in a stack, and, and stuff like that. There's, there's a whole bunch of things. Like, there's many, many layers of memory and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm going to go do the that and then we'll start putting a computer together and the uh, the the test case for trying to figure out what we're going to do with the computer is to take a power reading from the battery out the back take a reading from this online detector and use it to control this fission controller which is depleted oh that reminds me yeah you thought the segment was over no one more thing i stuck no not in there i stuck the uh, the neptunian the depleted neptunian fuel into here and look we got a little bit more neptunium we've got some plutonium some am americium uh two sets of americium and i think these are actually gonna 
click off uh, yeah there we go some advancements down there I, I remember uh, in physics we trust being a thing uh, um, alright cool uh, with that I'll be back somewhere down here is the most terrifying being in all of existence there he is a tiny baby with ridiculously overpowered health we're gonna have to try and take him down I've already stuck loads of bullets into him oh here we go another clip gone let's try again did anybody see how much health he had oh, well it turns out very very little but uh cool right so we're, we're back on it back on it very much I wanted to come down to this here because I've, I've had a, I've had a little much uh, I keep looking for workbenches around me, and honestly, I, oh, honestly, I need a salmon. Oh, I forgot all about having the salmon. So it looks like I'm going to be doing some fishing because this over here will enable me to have a, a 3 by 3 crafting bench within my inventory, which is a definitely what I want to do. Yeah, all right, it was the light grey. There we go. Cool. I'm slowly filling in all the colours. I'm not sure what's missing there or missing there, but there are two. I'd like, so we're missing a brown wool. Uh, that's, that's definitely one of them. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know what's missing there. Alright, anyway, so I was talking computers. Let's try and get all of this down into my inventory here. So where is the actual computer case? That's got to be uh, inside my computer bag. I mean, where else would I put things like this, honestly? Honestly, uh, so computer. No, that's this drive. Computer case. That's the important one. Computer case, screen, and actual disk drive. That, yeah, there we go. Right. So I'm going to put the case down there, looking good. I'm going to put the screen on top, just kind of makes sense, you know. And I'm going to put the disk drive beside because that's where I like to put my disks. Uh, before I do anything, straight in with the Open OS system, just just to get it out of my inventory, and then we're just going to kind of shift click everything into there. Now we have a problem. I'm not sure if you're aware of the problem. There's something that normally belongs to computers that we are missing. There's a few things that normally belong to computers that we are missing. The first one is a graphics card. If I turn this on, um, not enough energy. <laughs> no. Okay, power trench in place. Hopefully there's enough power flowing. Let's try this again. All right, turned it on and got ourselves a problem. Now, normally it would be like, use the analyzer to troubleshoot errors. I know what the errors are. It's got no way of displaying up there. There's also something else that's the problem. But if we come inside here, you can see I've made a new thing called a card base. Uh, we're going to grab one of those. It's literally just like the thing you put inside your machine, right? Uh, it's got the gold bit on the bottom and this little like iron thing on the back to connect to your, your case. Yeah, you know you know the thing I'm on about, right? And then we take it over here, and then we kind of like stick the components on top, and we get ourselves an actual graphics card. Hype! Uh, another thing I need to do is grab another one of these. Uh, I will explain. So if we come in here, put the graphics card in, and then hit go... What's it complaining about now? I might actually need to make an analyzer. Uh, oh, I've got the wrong EP... EP EEP ROM. Uh, this needs to have a BIOS thing on it. Hang on, let me let, let me work this through with you. If I go you are there, you can see we need an open computers manual. That should be nice and simple. Up top, I have plenty of leather and paper here, so I can make myself another book nice and quick. Thankfully, a few microchips are uh, on hold for from when I was making the graphics card, so that's pretty good. And then we just do one of these. All right, cool. That 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 was a problem there. That was indeed a problem. That, that is very important with almost every single bit of the uh, computer technology. At least everything to do with the boot up. You need to be able to like put things like that in. Okay, can we can we do this now? Okay, we can do this now. Are we going to get a display? This is a very interesting question. Look, there we go. It's doing some stuff. Now, there is a problem here. Can I click? I, I don't know if I can click yet. No, I cannot click yet. Now, the reason that I cannot click is because it's missing an input device. Yeah, indeed. Now, I don't think I'm going to make a, uh, a self-contained crafting system for this because all I want to do is make a keyboard. And as you can see, it's just a button, uh, a group of buttons, uh, and that is literally just buttons in various formats. So I'm, I'm gonna go make that just off camera because man, you, you don't need to see that. 37 buttons to craft a keyboard, if you're wondering. It's a nine by nine, uh, sorry, a three by three and arrow keys and the button group. Now I should be able to just shift click this up. Yeah, that'd be useful. And we got ourselves a keyboard, a beautiful, a lovely, and all other amazing things. So if I come down, I I like to slip, slap it in this little little space here because it just, it seems like a, a bit of a waste uh, to, to leave it open like that. So now that we put an input device on and we can actually blah, 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 blah. okay that's that's pretty good there's a little bit little bit 
slow. Uh, so uh, DF gives us the... Let's turn caps off. Uh, should give us the full list of stuff here. Now, what what do I mean stuff? These are like storage devices, okay? So... Uh, Hmm, this is wrapped really, really funny. So this is a table. Uh, it's like file system used available, uh, available <laughs> used percent and mounted on. So you've got to kind of read this. The file system is open OS, used, available, um, used percent, and it's mounted on slash. That is the... No, uh, well, that might be the uh, the, the EP ROM. Uh, we've got a temp file structure here. This uh, MNT 48B is my hard drive, and to uh, double check that, if you come and hover over, you can see 48B8 blah 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 blah. Yeah, that's that that's the number there. So that that's pretty good. Uh, and then you've got a little dev thing there. Now for for, for now, what I want to do is go slash. Uh, no, 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 wait. wait. <coughs> well, it's kind of like DOS. CD slash MNT. Slash, what was the numbers again? I was working on something else last night, so I've got numbers like properly stuck in my head. Uh, and that should put us there. Now we can do a thing, we can edit a file, right? We go edit a uh, test file dot lua. Uh, so, but if I press this button, we're gonna have a problem. Notice how it doesn't really do anything. Now, th this is because of what I've got down below. You see this, uh, like, one single stick of tier one memory. That's enough to get the computer running, but not enough to actually do anything on the computer. So we're going to turn that off. T turn that off and put... No, not print circuit board. Put another memory in there. Like, beautiful. a Beautiful. And now if we do exactly the same thing... Uh, is it going to remember my commands? You know it's not going to remember my commands. So there we go. Edit test file dot Lua. Blah, 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 blah. We should be taken to this ridiculous screen. Now, I really wish that I could type on this. It's much bigger than this tiny screen here. This used to take up your entire screen. Nowadays, it doesn't. And I don't know if there's a way of changing that shape or stuff like that. I, I do not know. Now, big question out there to all the people out there. I could just go ahead and go, here's a program, and we're just going to run it. Or I could talk through the process with you. Let, let's go to my, uh, my my creative world, shall we? It's going to take a while because every time I leave the server and try and go to a single player world, my whole cr uh, Java crashes. I hear this is a problem for anybody going into a test world. I'm not sure if that's something that can be fixed or not. But anyway, yeah, let me see you over there. So I've come to the creative world and I have realized that not everyone is going to want to know the ins and outs of the coding. Uh, so for you guys... Awesome. I'm going to just get back on with the episode. For everyone else, there should be a card somewhere that will show you the next thing that I'm about to go through. I'm going to, like, stop, do an edit, and, and we'll like, put that in a separate video. Well, it's pushed me uncomfortably far into a Minecraft night, but I finally got that salmon I was after. Also, a few other things. Uh, the name tag there looking pretty good. I also picked up this uh, this uh, fishing rod with mending on it. I mean, I made these two originally, but no, didn't need them. This one uh, saw me through. Uh, squid turns into a bunch of ink sacks, if you didn't see that. An explosive... Oh, man, no. Uh I'm not even going to try. I'm not even going to try. This explosive fish right here will turn into uh, three bits of gunpowder. I'm going to keep them as they are for now. I've really got to fill my roof in. I've, I've already done the back wall. I think we're going to do just like black glass all over. It, look, it looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, so we take this uh, raw salmon, I believe it was. Yes, indeed. A crafting upgrade. You go, oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to eat all this, this cake. Unlocked inventory crafting. Uh, oh, I, th I thought it was going to be here. If I was there, we go. All right, awesome. So that's better. Nice, nice of someone to drive past with their loud car like that. That is awesome. Right. So you uh, you saw the troubles, or maybe you did not. Depends whether you saw the extra footage or not about what was going on here. Not enough air power. Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. No power is flowing. Hmm. How do I make sure power comes to this guy above all else? Oh, it's because I left. Oh. We are going to need to try and figure out something with that. So obviously, I'm going to need a secondary power source at some point. I'm not sure how we're going to do it. Just to keep this powered a little, just a t tiniest trickle of power to keep this thing running and uh, everything, like, keep the brain running. Keep the brain of the base running. That, that would be great. Hmm, not sure I'm going to do that. And also, there is another thing that I'm not sure. So I spent all that time working out this program on a single player with this nice little, like, setup of, of my reactor and stuff in, a, in an exposed area so I could figure out how to do things. I can't get that program onto the server, can I? Uh, actually, honestly, I believe there to be a way to open this up to the internet. 
And I'm not sure about how to do that, so I might have to try and see how I can do that. Yeah, all right. So this entire segment has not gone exactly as I intended. I got the I got the crafting now, so that's pretty good, but... Oh, this this stuff needs some thinking about. Yeah, okay, it's just a couple of things I want to build, a couple of peripherals, shall we call them, that I want to build so we can hook up to that beast over there. Okay, so first thing I did, I got a coward base and I've taken it over here and put a microchip and a redstone torch on top of it. This gives us a redstone card. Now, normally you would come along to here, pop this in this little slot here, and it would turn this into a sort of a redstone receiver and transmitter so I could run a, a line of redstone into the side and I could get readings and push readings off of that but if we can't bring it up here and put it in there we're also missing something else oh no ah I remember oh, <clears throat> Give me that, thanks. Uh, we need to come over here. You can see up top we've got some tier, tier one and microchips. In fact, so many of them, I've even got some more in my inventory. Uh, tier two, nice and easy to make. You can see it's just microchips, a few gold nuggets. The uh, the nether quartz was the most awkward bit to get there. Oh, God, yes, that really was. Uh, and then we take these tier twos, put them in there, and grab ourselves a tier, a tier three. A little bit of a, a build up there, but we have finally got to a, one of these uh, redstone IO ports. Nice. I also have made this cable box and I'm just going to pull a whole load of cables out of here. Uh, not only do I need them for some other stuff, half a, <coughs> half a stack seems appropriate. Let's, oh man, look what I just did here. That, that's, that's terrible. Uh, but I also need to craft some stuff. And finally, the adapter. All right, awesome. So this adapter is going to come over here. Ooh, I don't know how I'm going to pump redstone in and out of this. I hadn't even thought about that. What I want to do is break this one here. So that's probably going to turn my reactor off, but we'll, we'll live with that. And that adapter goes there. Do, can we also, let's have a look here if we can do this. Can I also dig up here? Uh, is this a reactor casing or marble? This is marble. So we should be able to pop it in. Oh, thanks very much just here I say that but mm, no no that's not what we're gonna do we're gonna use a redstone line to get down there man this this whole cabling system down here is getting a little bit out of hand but yeah if we could somehow hook this up to the machine we should be able to start using the device so not only do I want to use this if I just break all these blocks it should be able to put a nice line of cable coming in from here no not like that just like this and we can come along this way nice and easy I want to try and get into the bottom of the machine is that it will it even let me i i don't think it's going to let me at this angle in fact going like this is going to be a little bit of a thing i might need to rearrange a few items but we'll just run the cable in like this for now that should work out pretty well uh, not not beautiful but we'll we'll make it work we'll make it work i also wanted to put this over here here yeah let's put that there and then we put that on top okay that's nice and simple and we connect it with a couple of things okay so i'm expecting that what we're actually going to do is take the redstone signal out of the bottom here so it's one two and this one over here perfect okay beautiful beautiful and i think i'm done i think i finally ow ow that that was a bit of a drop there i think i finally figured out exactly how to do everything there was uh, one little step that we didn't do here was how to connect the redstone io to my fusion controller over here i went with this wireless redstone system that cyclic uh produces or gives us or whatever the the word is there so we've got a receiver over there and if i come down my little uh jefferson tube here you can see we've got a transmitter underneath whilst this was in my hand i hit the uh hit the receiver over there that paired them up uh, and made that beautiful so what does this actually do well if we come over here and type the word nuke check okay cool uh it goes through it che first checks to see whether i'm online or not let's let's pull up the code let's pull up the code i, I can do this all right so uh oh whoa whoa th thing things are all over the place this isn't quite what i wanted but we, we, we'll work with it we'll work with it first thing it does it checks to see if i'm online and here's it checking to see if i'm offline inside the online thing it then checks how much reactor power we've got um whether it the power is high if it's high it will turn the redstone back off and if it's low uh it tells me that i really need to upgrade my my fusion reactor my fission reactor 
Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Uh, and then if I'm offline, it turns that off. Okay, beautiful. I, uh, I really don't know what's going on with my desktop readout there. Okay, that's, that is pretty, pretty cool. What I really need to do is stick this in a while true loop, though. So what, the moment this turns on, it starts running this, and then every, I don't know, five seconds or so, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, I mean, even every minute or so, depends how long it takes for a chunk to unload once I go offline. But if we uh, set it to tick, tick that often, then it will make sure that this stays on or off for me. I really do need to figure out how to get this producing more power, though. I need to have a little bit of a, um, a backlog of power, and that would work out really well for us. But I think I have run out of time to today, so I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time when we're going to upgrade our power system. I'm not necessarily going to do the fission reactor, but I'm definitely going to be upgrading some a power system somewhere. So I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Oh, if you want the code, I'll put the code online. Bye! That was a purple nose.